if you're joining me from another video if you're joining me for the first time hello <laughs> i am back for another of my favorite doll lines smart doll unboxing and there's a little story behind the dolls it's not just this one there is another one coming um i ever since blue smart dolls had been announced i have been trying and failing <laughs> to get a blue smart doll they just sell out like this like there is just people waiting you know it's like at those um sales they have at stores and there's people in the line waiting <laughs> and i was actually getting a bit disheartened because i'm very slow on um smartphones i have one of the latest smartphones and i i'm just like a uh, 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 sort of person whereas other you know the young youth they're like blah, 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 and they've done like an entire paragraph <laughs> And I'm still going eh, 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 on the first sentence. Um, well, my best friend, uh, he signed up for the notifications and he got it all sorted and all ready. And um, he said there's an announce, they're releasing soon and all this sort of stuff. And he was just like, leave it to me. And I imagine him in a superhero pose, you know, like. Because <laughs> that's who he is to me. He's always been kind of my hero. Always gets me out of jams and, and always makes sure that. I get what I want <laughs> so he kind of said leave it up to me and I was there on my phone waiting and honestly this time I thought I'd done it I was like <laughs> I think I've done it already sold out you know sort of thing and I was like so I went home and the funny thing was I was out with um Paige where's Paige smart doll strength this little girl over here. I was out with her doing a photo shoot on the day it happened. And when I got home and I was like, I'm too slow. And he's like, check your email. And I was like, okay. <laughs> okay. And I went to my email and my best friend had managed to score me not one, but two smart dolls. Can I sit over there? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> um, and I was absolutely, oh my gosh, squealing, jumping up and down and all that sort of stuff because I never thought it would happen. I honestly got to that stage where I was like, oh, well, grey skin tone will be coming out. Maybe I'll be lucky with the grey skin tone, but I'm kind of a bit... <laughs> I didn't get a blue. <laughs> but, um, yes, I... I, and of course I was just so thankful because he always looks after me and I don't think I would have been able to do this without him so thank you Matt BFFs forever basically <laughs> so I saw what two blue girls he got me which just made me I, I'm gonna start crying if I talk about it too much but um I was just let's just say I'm extremely extremely happy so, on top of that, Danny had released at the same time a limited run of a wine red schoolgirl outfit of the post-apocalyptic outfit. Who's wearing it here? I have the this one on Serena, who is Smart Doll Justice. She is wearing the standard outfit, which is in a greyish greenish colour, um, worn colours to go with the post-apocalyptic theme. And when I saw that Danny had released the outfit in a wine red, I, I was just like stunning. I need it. So on seeing that my friend had treated me to two dolls, I went and treated myself to the outfit. Yay! <laughs> and we had a bit of a um, a bit of a thing with FedEx, but I just want to say this: I've got to give a company dues when it is um, when it is warranted. Danny's team and Danny himself were so fast on response and gave us everything we needed to get these girls released from customs New Zealand. I can't fault the customer service. It was fantastic. They were lovely. But now that we've gone through the mini story time, <laughs> let's see. Now I don't know which dolls in what box. A and I know that the post-apocalyptic uniform got packed in with them, so one of them will have it in and one won't, but oh my goodness, when I get them, I always take the dolls out, take some photos for Instagram that they're here, and then package them all up. So if any packaging or wigs look a bit scruffy, that is on me, that is not on Smart Doll. They package everything into, so it's so pristine. 
But um, it's so hard packing them up again. Like I just want to like rip into them and keep them out. But I've got to because I like opening them and doing the official welcoming to this world with you guys because it makes me happy and I love your videos, especially those who post the smart doll videos. Make me so happy. So, if you're new to Smart Doll, they come in this purpose size box. Now, if you order more than two, they have a bigger box, which can take these two boxes in. So you always get these really strong boxes, and they are strong. Let me tell you, these are the things that, you know, you can make the doll rooms out of. They're that, that strong. And then you get these gorgeous bags, which are the, I say it in every video, best book carriers ever ever if you love the library if you're a person like me who doesn't like reading on kindle because it hurts your brain that um, backlight and everything um and you love books best book carrier bags ever and i also have been taking them lately to smart uh to starbucks on a sunday to carry all our cups because we don't want to have lots of smart starbucks cups so we buy the reusable stuff and use it each week you get these beautiful bags Keep calm and carry a smart doll. And then you get, oh, I can see who's in here from the top. You get your box and your doll. So the first thing we're going to grab out is the box. Now this box, if you're just buying the doll, comes with your standard smart doll pieces, which is a wig, a telescopic stand to help with a uh, standing support. It's like a third leg, basically, at the behind, and a little you know, welcome to Smart Doll card with um, a bit of Danny's humor in there so you can get to know the creator. Definitely, he is one of um, the doll developers that I enjoy the most and that he's engaged, he's um, active, and I kind of like his humor. <laughs> Not for everybody, but I do. <laughs> all my girls are here and they're all like, especially Moment, and you'll see why Moment's like here, like, wow. <laughs> All my girls, this is my main girl Casey here, who is a milk tone, uh, a milk tone. She has got to be at my side for each opening. So let's have a look. This is the one that came with their post-apocalyptic post uniform. Gosh, it's hard to say sometimes with my accent. <laughs> and I, I totally talk fast, that is one thing. So I will be bringing these all up close, and um, we'll have a look at the dolls up close with their face-ups, etc. But I'm doing the opening with you. So, the first thing I ordered was the tights. Now these I wouldn't call a black tights, I would call them a very dark brown. Uh, fish, tiny fishnet sort of um, stockings. Um, tights, the stockings more like it, Lisa. Um, these have been around for a while, but when Danny took the photos and posted them, I thought they went so well with the schoolgirl outfit that I'm almost tempted to buy another pair to go with Serena. I kind of like Serena's um, beautiful cocoa legs, though. I love the girl cocoa legs on the girls. They're gorgeous to show off. Uh, but I might just buy it for the uniforms. They kind of like match. Then we have the loafers, which he also had in the photograph, which just match this uniform something stunning so smart doll clothing is not cheap i will have prices across the bottom converted to us converted to new zealand uh, what i paid in new zealand and converted to us um since i am in new zealand <laughs> you can do the yen conversions yourself by looking at his site <laughs> and then the uniform it is gorgeous. This is actually the colour, the wine red of my kitchen. I think I have some of my photos of my kitchen up on my Instagram. I also have down in the description my Instagram if you're someone who enjoys smart doll photos and other toys. Um, check it out. This is my kitchen colours with greys and metallics and blacks. Beautiful. I love this so much. Now, I will not be dressing the girls up in this. I'll be doing that in another video, and I'm going to be doing that with Addison right here, who is Smart Doll Dauntless, because I just, I held it up to all the girls, and I think that it goes with Dauntless the best. So, that's for me. Now, you've got this telescopic stand, which, of course, is in the blue. i got a blue girl. i got a blue girl, which is in the blue. So, yay. I love that he matches the skin tone to each of the stands. It's just so cute. I, I love little touches like that. Then we have the Don't Feed After Midnight uh, card. 
with Mirai, who is the doll that started it all. Here's Smart Doll Mirai. I finally have a name for her. Name him is Ella. So this is Ella right here. Took me a while to find her name. I knew exactly what she was and who her personality was, but I needed to find a name that sat with her and Ella is it. So um, I've added that to my dolly book, which I actually brought some awesome record dolly books off um, Amazon. I'm going to show those in another video. And the smart doll wigs. So your standard pieces are these three here. Stand, information card, wig. So no matter what smart doll you buy, um, as long as it's a full full set, that is what will come. And again, you get a really nice box that you can use. Now, if you don't want to use your boxes, please recycle so that future smart dolls can have a home. Then on to what we're really here for, which is the smart, the smart doll. I'm going to pull it out. This is a Smart Doll Anomaly, which is the zombie girl. They come in their product, what I call the cyborg production pose, which is their arms are at the back and hands that way and feet out with the tootsies spread out and an owl so they fit perfectly in. We can pull her down, nice tight joints there. <laughs> Bit of squeakiness, nice tight joints. So let's get the bag out of the way. Gosh, this is my 14th bag. <laughs> about to be 15 bags. I love those bags. Um, okay, so I've got her facing you. I can see her partially this way. So first off, they come with a bubble wrap outing. Everything is just been so thought after by the creators of Smart Doll and the team that I just love them. The thought, the technique, the the engagement. I think the engagement and the community are one of my favorite things with them. Okay pull off, then there is a plastic bag, all the way up. Now something that I'm going to say with the blue skin tone, it is far, far more striking in real life than it looks on any photos I've seen. The blue is stunning. It is absolutely stunning. So it's got Danny Chu pen, uh, paint, embossed on the back of her head here. I was going to say painted. He's not going to paint it on the back of the head, nor is the team. It's got the Mirai logo here on the on the neck. She is amazing. She is an anime style zombie and I never thought I would say this. I used to be petrified of zombies. I would never watch movies with zombies in it until I finally went through this phase of watching every horror movie, etc. And Walking Dead. Oh my God, I love the Walking Dead series. Um, if you were ever to see a beautiful zombie, she is it. She has these gorgeous pink anime eyes. Even the scarring is paced in a way not to detract from from her beauty, the little smile with the tiny bit of pink in the middle of her face. Don't worry, I will bring her up and have a look. And then just to give her that undead look, they've done um, shadowing under the eyes to give it that kind of semi-sunken look. But if ever there was a pretty zombie, Anonymally, Anonymally is it. She comes with the medium grey undies which say with Smart Doll the future is in your hands written across the sports bra and the undies on the top here. Oh my gosh she's so cute. So let me show how cute she is. Her makeup is in a dark grey as well as opposed to a black which goes really well with the blue. Shall we bring you up and have a look, my darling? Yes, we shall. Here she is up close. I'm a lot closer to the mic at the moment, so if you need to turn me down, now is the time to do so. I do try and adjust it when I'm editing, but sometimes I miss things. Sorry. <laughs> look at this face. These gorgeous pink eyes. Let's get her up towards the, the spotlight there. So they are a medium pink to dark pink eyes with black shadowing at the top and white highlights. 
the scarring in is in what I would call a medium to dark brown. I'm hoping that picks up on camera. Medium to dark brown. Now if you look at her eyebrows and the top eyelashes and the under eye, it is not actually in a black, it is in a grey. So a lot of the smart dolls have black or brown eyelash shading, but hers is in a grey. Of course, because she is an anime sculpt, oh, I know my girls are gorgeous at the background, can we focus on this one camera? Because <laughs> she is an anime sculpt, she has the large eyes. But I think what really sells her for me is the mouth. The mouth is so incredibly cute with this little smile, like she's happy to be undead. <laughs> I was going to say alive. She's happy to be undead. She is happy to be here. Now let's have a look at the profile shot. So she has a little nose. She doesn't have much of a bump around the mouth area or a sticky out chin. She's just got a little nose off to the side. Of course her ears right there. She is beautiful. Now I am going to get her wig on. And we will put her to the side while I look at my second girl. Alright, she's beautiful. I've just been going, yee, off camera. <laughs> I've been dancing around. I'll show how I put my wigs on because quite a few people actually um, messaged me on Instagram. Thank you for the way you put your wigs on. It makes it so much easier. I put the wigs on. I line it up so that the center is at the top. And then I hold the top here. And then I pull down from the sides. Now this is what works for me. You've got to find your own way. This for me is the easiest way I've found to put smart doll wigs on. It's already on. See? Now some are easier to put on um, than others. Um, I've seen in quite a few videos that Genesis's wig, can, the short one, can be very, very hard to put on. So once you've got it on, style it with your hands. Always have a comb ready when you're doing photos because like any BJD wig, straight, just like our own hair when we're moving, um, things fly and flip and, uh, <laughs> depending on which way the wind. It is just so cute with that wig on. It even looks like her hair has gone like slowly in an undead state, like off color. It, I mean, I know I know our hair's dead anyway, but look at this. Look at her. It is the ash wing wig. I'm losing my I'm losing my voice. I'm just so happy. I'm so happy. I love her. I just absolutely love her. And that's a real surprise going from someone who used to be deathly afraid of zombies and refused to watch anything about them. To thinking, oh, I love her so much. She's my little zombie. Can you imagine if he makes a zom a grey zombie as well? And you can have a blue and a grey zombie, like, friends on the other side. <laughs> This is Anomaly. I've named her Willow, um, partially because I love Buffy the Vampire Slayer and for some reason the name Willow to me always seems a bit mysterious, a bit dark, um, a bit sad in some ways. And so I thought it was perfect for my zombie. She's so cute. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I am going to put that over there. But that put her on a sleigh lacer. She's not a that, she's a her. So she's here, and because he's just so incredibly amazing, what else did I get? Well, soon we'll see. So, um, I, don't, I couldn't manage to get one, and somehow he managed to get two. <laughs> I, I just... Obviously, I'm not up to speed with these phones and things. Um, they do sell out super fast. So if you're like me and uh, 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 on the mobile phone type person, find that friend who's just like a... <laughs> that can do find a way to get it. Okay, so we've gone through the box and the bag. Ooh. So this is my 15th girl, my second blue, and as I said before, there is a reason Monday's like, yay! 
because uh, Monday moment is like yay Monday's up here this is moment going yay um he got me smart doll moment and blow and uh, let me tell you she's so ethereal she just looks at something out of this world you know let's get out the box first go over there my darling okay I got the blue wig. Now, I think I said in Beyond's video, Beyond is here, um, she's the previous Smart Doll boxing I did. I was so looking forward to getting the blue undies. When I saw the blue undies set, I was like, blue, 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 blue. <laughs> it's coming up, so I'm going to have that. So this is another tick off the box, which is the blue wig. Um, it is a deep tone blue. Um, a deep blue which highlights into a medium blue into almost such a dark blue in certain shades that it's almost black it is really really nice so I've got the blue wig of course another blue stand and cha -ching! <laughs> the standard don't feed after midnight one so we'll put that to the side so if we've got one of those put that up there got the wig aside so here she comes. I, I'm not sure what I'm going to um, make for them. I do have a dress one coming up soon, which I'm going to do, dressing my smart dolls. Let's bring her out. I'll put my 15th bag aside and get ready to open my 15th girl. No boys. Gosh, I want a boy, I want a boy so bad. I want a boy so bad. Stand her up. And when I bring her up, I'll do a side-by-side -side with Moment and the cinnamon so we can look at them together. Get the bubble wrap off. <laughs> I did some photos when I first took her out with the red cape I have on and I was like, oh my goodness, space alien princess warrior whatever. <laughs> so gorgeous. And let me just say again how stunning this blue is. You can't see how stunning the blue is until it's like a brilliant blue day with no clouds color. It is just amazing. So she's out of her cyborg production line stance. She has the blue undies as I was talking about before, which I really, really wanted. Yay! Another tick off the box. And turn her around. Oh, yes. Now, whereas we go from the very anime cutesy style, we get into, I don't think, Mo, I don't know if my moments classed as a realistic, but I would call it a more realistic eye style, the more slanted style. And this is moments. So we have the smaller, you know, more realistic eye shapes. The mouth with the partially open mouth where she doesn't look like she's smiling. She looks kind of like she's assessing what's going on. And she has, whereas, um, I would say on a monomaly, the pink definitely shines through. Pink shines through as the alternate color for her. For moment, it is tones of blue. She sticks very much to the blue. And she is beautiful. I would say that she is anime cute. I would say that she is anime beautiful, if that makes sense. Um, you know how they always have the anime cutesy girl who's always wide-eyed and bubbly and bouncing around, and then they have the older one who's just gorgeous, you know, <laughs> and, and very quiet and more stern and mature and stuff. Um, I hope you understand what I'm saying. Gosh, I'm showing my nerdy side, aren't I? <laughs> So she is just, I mean, they're both, they're both beautiful and my heart is so touched. I, I'm just in, so in love with them and I never, I honestly was getting to that stage where I thought I'm too slow, I'm too old, I'm never going to get one. <laughs> so rather than cry about it too much, it was better that I accept that I'm old. <laughs> And um, yeah, my best friend went and got me not one but two of them and I'm so excited and I'm so happy. I, I am so incredibly happy and I'm so lucky to have a best friend like 
who always looks out for me like that way. You are beautiful. Let's look at her up close. But in this up close shot, um, I'm going to put on her wig before I bring her up close as we're going to do a comparison with the normal moment. See you up close soon. Here she is. She is just stunning. Like I said, on Anonymally, the pinks just shine through as the alternate color to blue. But on moment, you can see they've stuck with a blue for the eyeshadow, uh, for the eyebrows in a darker blue. Then the eyeshadow is a lighter blue. And then it's a gray to black eyeliner on the eyes. Blue eyes inside. Frosty blue lips here, which are partially open, showing her teeth. Even the blushing, I would say, has a slight pink in it, but it comes across as a tone of blue, even though, and that's also across the eyes. She is just, when you, when, if you want a blue doll, this is who you want, basically, because she is blue on blue, and it's stunning. When I say there's anime cute with the anomaly back here in the blue, and then there's an anime beautiful, this she is just that there is a profile shot for you so you can see her lips are more turned out for me because there is that partial opening in them so there is a little bit of a turn in those lips and then i just want to show the wig here so i'm pretty sure the camera will show there is tones of black in that blue there is medium blue and of course where the light shines it goes to a lighter blue she is blue on blue on blue she is a beautiful blue girl and unlike her let's just say human style <laughs> let's bring your arms down sweetheart we are still celebrating but we need to have you up here She does not have the front fringe, which is interesting. So on the blue one, they've just gone for a straight down, whereas on the cinnamon moment, you can definitely see that she has a side part fringe. The eyes are done in exactly the same style. There is a lighter gray at the top of the blue moment's eyes and the eyebrows on the human one are done in a light brown and of course the blushing is more pink on the human one and she has pink lips but they have been very good and very true to the makeup plating in that you can almost if you brought both of them and you were a bit of a storyteller you could make it that this is it would be easily that this is her human form <laughs> when she's trying to hide that she's an alien basically in my story they are absolutely separate characters i don't want to make them one or the other one they are completely different this is lillian for me and i have named her celeste so she is an alien in my story um, different from my smart doll world uh, the two blue girls will be different from my smart doll world and that this is a very realistic town each of the girls have jobs they have things that they do um, but still with their own stories <laughs> I am so happy with her now here is the blue undergarments we got the smart the bra here and then we have the undies and I'm showing that because this is my first time getting the um, the blue set I think the only undie set I don't have now is the olive green but I think that came in some chaos lots so I don't know maybe that'll be in the future it'll be somewhere else let's get back and have a look at the articulation that's for those who are new to smart doll they're very very poseable so I like to do a bit of this in each video. Um, skip forward if you've already seen all this before. But basically, smart dolls are hinged ball jointed dolls. Um, if you're getting into BJDs, there are different um, types of BJD collecting. Uh, strung BJDs are considered different to hinged BJDs. Um, 
so do your research because uh, depending on what sort of groups you choose, what community you choose, some communities do BJD strung only etc. Um, some are, some a lot will not take um, recast dolls etc. Which is basically um, a lot of AliExpress dolls etc. They're fake dolls sort of thing. So always do your research first. If you're new, watch videos, watch videos, read forums and become educated before you jump in because it is an expensive hobby and I would hate to I know people <laughs> who have done things they regret with their money, <laughs> especially when it comes to recasts. Um, these hinged BJDs are exceptionally poseable and the amazing thing with smart dolls is they basically can come apart, which means you can pull them apart at certain points and put them back together. This leaves a lot for customization in the future. Um, there are like uh, leg pieces, you know, um, for those who have metal legs, etc. And I'm sure Danny's, Danny's very, very good at trying to be inclusive with it, all that sort of stuff. So check out the website. Take a couple of things. Makes them super duper easy to dress when you can... If you've had a fight with a string by EJD who's decided to, you know, slap you in the face while you're trying to get her hand <laughs> through, you will not see the difference, the huge difference in how easy these dolls are to dress compared to other dolls. Um, and there are a lot of points of articulation. Obviously the head can go 360 around, it can look up, it can look down. There is also under the chest here movements and you can change the bust size if you so feel. I have that in other videos with the push up bra and the large um, the large chest options, you have your shoulder movement, you have your elbow movement, and you have your hand movement. So a lot of things you can do with that. There is movement down in the hip here, and knee movement to there, and then your foot movement and rotation. So the legs, the only part that a lot of people wish is that the legs could go right back to here. But um, I am double jointed in my legs, so I can actually get my legs right up against my back. Not everybody can do that. <laughs> so I don't, it doesn't bother me. I've never ever been in that position where I've wanted to put my foot right up against my behind on my dolls. <laughs> But um, they are incredibly poseable. Check out Instagram with hashtag smart to check the, all the photos out of what people do. Just stunning some of them, especially those who get creative with the wigs, you know, completely customizing their face ups and, and the clothing, etc. It's fantastic. So her name is Celeste. She is my alien. I almost was tempted to make her a bit avatarish, but no, I want her to be humanoid form alien. Kind of like, um, what's her name on uh, Guardians of the Galaxy? Galmora? The green chick, you know, like she's very humanoid. She's just green. <laughs> kind of thing. This is my girl. She is beautiful. I am so happy. I am so in love with both of them. I will not pick a favourite because they are both my favourites. All my girls. Oh, the only girl who I, hold above, who I hold above anyone else is Casey, Starlight in the Milk. as She was my first doll and she is kind of my me doll. Uh, for those who are wondering, I will say the smart doll names in order if you see any of the dolls you like and you can check them out. Some are discontinued, such as the first one I'm going to start with, which is Smart Doll Justice in the Coco here. This is Dauntless in the T. This is Monday in the T. This is Felicity in the Cinnamon. Uh, reflection in the cocoa, Genesis in the cinnamon, Moment in the cinnamon back here. Obviously these two girls I've just gone into and I shouldn't have to explain what their skin tone is. Um, Starlight in the milk, Marai in cinnamon, uh, Strength in tea, Fortitude in tea, Beyond in cocoa, and Dimension in cinnamon. Known to me as Serena, Addison, Monday, Ivy, Jasmine, Josie, Lillian, Nair, Willow, Willow, <laughs> Willow, Celeste, Casey, 
Ella, Paige, Ariana, Nera, and Rochelle. These are all my girls. I have 15 of them. One day I will get a boy. And I think it's going to be a bit of a fight as to who gets the first hubby slash boyfriend. <laughs> we'll see what happens at the time. I might roll the dice. <laughs> Thank you for watching girls and I hope you love your dolls, love your dolls, love each other. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye.